up, Belly fan, and welcome to the second video in the YouTube series we started over two weeks ago. And uh, I'm just gonna get right into it. Um, real quick, one thing we mentioned in the first video was we weren't sure if we're gonna do it on a bi-weekly basis or a monthly basis. Uh, I decided on bi-weekly, so you can count on these every two weeks or give or take a little bit of time in between that. So that's our pace because that's the general pace of updates and how we move in LA. So uh, we'll try to keep it at a bi-weekly basis for now. Um, did I say paces? Basis, bi-weekly basis. Okay. All right. So with that said, uh, I just want to get into it because I don't want to make these videos long, and we got some stuff to cover. So first and foremost, got some things to announce. Two things. One's really exciting, and one I think a lot of people already know about. And two, a very sad, but a reality. So I'll mention those coming soon, towards the end. Uh, so getting into the updates here, uh, since the last video we discussed a lot and covered a lot about the great Toriax boss and uh, the idea of what we're doing with these videos, so I'm just going to cover our recent updates which were 99% focused on the boss, I'll show you those right now, and we also made a change to the gambling scene. A lot of you guys, if you play, you're probably already familiar with this update, but uh, here they are nonetheless. Uh, first and foremost, we made a huge awesome necessary change to the uh, gambling scene so when gambling now it's all server based by the way it's scam free but we made a little change here if a player if you're dicing or you're flower flipping whatever the hell you got and a player either disconnects or logs out on you the bet still continues that person's cat he may be logged out but this person's character remains in the game and the server forces his hand as if he was actually playing realistically so for example, if you're dicing or flower program or playing hot and cold and either the opponent or yourself decide you can't watch, they, they DC or just tries to log out to, I don't know, make the bet forfeit or something thinking they're going to get the upper hand, won't work. The bet will continue and the server will play out your hand, so it will either plant your flowers or roll your dice or call out your hot and cold for you, all while you're logged out. So nobody can find their little ways in and out of these bets and whatnot. And once you hit accept, you're in it for the long haul, you're either going to win or lose, there's no way out. Um, so that's it, that was a very fair and uh, necessary update we had to do to keep the playing field level and even, especially when it comes to gambling. That's, uh, that could be a slippery slope, so I think we balanced it out here. Um, focusing back now on Great Toriax, we focused a lot on there and we made some changes. When he was initially released, he was pretty easy, almost AFKable, and so we made that a little more difficult. First and foremost, one cool thing is we removed the damage cap. The damage cap was previously 400. It's no longer a thing. You can now bring whatever the hell you want and see what your max hit is on the thing. Uh, with that said, we also increased the HP by 10k, giving it a total of 55k HP. With the damage cap no longer relieved, no longer holding it back, people can now range it and hit 3k or more on the boss. So a 10k boost isn't really making a difference. It's just keeping it even. Uh, familiars will no longer be attacked by Great Toriax, so if you're fighting and before, you know, you might be able to get a little break by the, by the dragon focusing on your uh, familiar, but not anymore, he's just going to focus on you and whoever else is there. Uh, the defense bonuses have been increased by approximately 17%, it's not an exact number, it's somewhere around there, the defense is up a little bit. Fire range special attack will now hit 30 more tiles than it did before, so when he rains, he's going to rain a bit more. It's going to cover a broader area, hit more spots. All great terrain armor is now tradable. That should have been on release. My goof up. I apologize, but it's now fixed. All great terrain pieces now have examines, quality of life kind of thing. Doesn't say null anymore. Um, great terrain drop rates adjusted. The gold and spike kits for the dragon armor is a bit more rare now. They were dropping very often before. Now drops dragon height every kill, and also now drops Trisonic Visage. It's a uh, dragon, so why doesn't it? And a dragon kite shield. And it's now a completion escape requirement with 100 kills, which is a bit high. So we're actually probably going to cut that in half very soon because uh, it's a long kill. It's like a 10 minute kill. I mean, 8 minutes if you're lucky. And we also brought in the uh, OSRS item here. Dragon Warhammer is now available. It drops from Great Toriax. It's the only way to get it. And it's a rare drop. It has about the same drop rate as the Great Torian armor itself. Uh, I, I don't mind introducing this into this 718 because... Uh, we got a little bit of both. We got some old school stuff, we got some new school stuff, I mean we got Max, we got all that, and why not? I mean it kind of, it offers a variety for people to choose from. You can either have this one, you can have that one, wherever you like, whichever you prefer. 
trying to just keep a nice and uh, balanced air between the both, but still focusing on the 718 uh, air rub. So that's all we did. The past updates we're working on the next one coming out soon, which uh, hopefully is very soon. But uh, things have been a bit busy, and but nonetheless, we always try to stay on track here. So with that said, that's all. Like I said, that's that was all the updates since the last video. Also, we did some other work behind the scenes that wasn't posted. Uh, for example, we fixed uh, some trade glitch that some player thought he was the man, thought he was cool, and found some glitch, and tried taking advantage. He no longer plays Ellie, and the patch is fixed all the way around. He got a little cocky, so he got a little banned. But that's what happens. I mean, you either work with work with us, or you you're not you're not you're not, the, you're not even part of Ellie, so. He tried, but he didn't go back the right way. So, uh, with that said, now I got something, something sad and something exciting. Uh, if you play Ellie, you're very familiar with our administrator, Jake. Jake has been very busy with work, and he has since messaged me, and he says, he's just, who's he fooling anymore? He doesn't really have time to focus on Ellie. He doesn't have time to play. He's busy, and that's life. It is what it is. I mean, he was my, he was our best man. He's my right hand man, and he will always be here. He'll always be welcome. He will always have his spot whenever he's available. But in the meantime, he's since put in his resignation, and he's no longer administrator. And uh, so, with that said, there's going to be some staff changes coming soon. So look forward to some of those. Some people moving up, maybe some new people on the team. We'll see what's going on. Uh, I'll we'll have discussions with that with the current staff. See what's going on with that, but. Our buddy Jake is gone. He was a good man. He'll still be around. He's just busy with work, and I hope to see him back very, very soon. He's, he's been a vital part of Ellie and its community. Uh, he served the opposite time zone I live in, and he did wonderful. Anytime a situation arrived, he handled everything just right. Very, very good and dedicated player. Was a wonderful moderator. Global. Made it to administrator, and he succeeded in every area. But life gets in the way. You know, that's all. I mean, it is what it is. You work too much. You can't have time. And I appreciate his honesty and the respect he had. And he's since, uh, he's no longer administrator. And, uh, I'm sad to see him go, but I hope to see him back soon. Maybe, maybe a situation will change. But like I said, expect some staff changes now. I'm gonna need someone to fill the spot. Got some people in mind. We'll see. We'll see who, who accepts and whatnot. And last but not least, one really cool thing that our developer, Matt, has implemented is this right here the grand exchange page uh, it's a work in progress yet but it's a start to something that is very very cool so you can search obviously an item that's listed on our grand exchange in game you'd see what they were listed for how long ago it was listed and how many they posted and it's either a buy or sell offer. You can see the different buys and sells in here. So, uh, look, we got a white party hat. You can also, so the best part of this is you can see the trends and prices. So let's check out, uh, let's check out this uh, dragon pickaxe. Let's see what they've been doing around recently. Oh, my. Talk about something that dropped in value. Jeez. But yeah, so, you know, it, it's a graph now, and you can track these items, you can track their prices, you can see where they're going, let's see how volatile the white party hat is. Oh. Oh my. That went down. That's a shame for anybody who has a white party hat. You lost from the peak, you lost uh, one bill worth of value. Good luck, man. Good luck trying to get rid of that. I think I have an idea for that might be. And the dragon claws. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm out of words for that one. That one's flatlining. That one's almost dead. But yeah, so this is a, a really cool, I think a really, really, really cool feature to have in Ellie now. You can check these average prices of items. If you don't know how much something costs in game, if you're new, you can come to this Grand Exchange page, I don't know, search Dragon Chain Body, and wow, maybe nobody's selling Dragon Chains. Not, okay, but so yeah, it only shows things that are currently being sold and bought, so I guess nobody's selling that. So yeah, I mean, if you're unfamiliar, you're new, you want to check out the prices, you want to see, you know, what you can afford, what you can't afford, you can see where things are, where they're going, 
Oh, that see. Okay. If, by the way, if you don't see, if you see no data available on item, means it's never been bought or sold yet on the Grand Exchange. And it makes sense that this may not have been because it was previously only a donor item before, like we just covered in the recent updates, that it's now dropping from Great Tour X. So probably start seeing more of them coming around. But yeah, very cool feature, and I think something that everybody's going to love and uh, you can, everybody can utilize. It's very, very helpful, like I said, especially for new players. If you're unfamiliar with the economy and the prices, just have a look on the Grand Exchange page and see if you can find what you're looking for. Other than that, we also have, obviously, a price guide that's uh, on our forum somewhere if people moderate. Uh, try to keep it up to date. But yeah, very, very helpful feature, very cool, all courtesy of our developer, Matt. Put it together. And... Uh, yeah, I think that's all we got for this video. I just wanted to cover the recent updates and see, you know, see what's going on. Uh, I do want to conduct some uh, player interviews soon, but uh, I've been busy and some of the players have been busy themselves. So we're gonna get around to that. That might even be another whole other type of series, different than this, because uh, I do want to keep these kind of short. And it looks like I'm going a bit over my time. So again thank you very much for watching i appreciate everybody who watches and uh if you haven't already subscribed to the channel so you can stay up to date and we can keep these series coming see what you guys like what you think about them what you don't like what we can change same thing goes for in game you know this is all just part of ellie's community this is another just another 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 avenue for you for communication and reaching out and uh just feedback in general that's all we need so again thank you very much for everybody who's participated and see you next time